Love and Sex Stuff is brought to you by Squarespace. Build it beautiful. What are you, uh, what are you doing? Uh, I'm looking for a girlfriend. Tim, your girlfriend lives in Philadelphia. Yeah, you don't stop taking resumes. So Nick. Yes, sir. Today's question comes from 20-year-old Darren. 20, got it. Darren says, hey guys, what's the best way to get a girlfriend? I've been having some trouble. That's a broad question. It is, it is. That is a broad question. Well, Darren, um, Let's I think, think the, about this, he's 20. I, I think the best way to get a girlfriend is like this. Become an awesome person. I, yes. don't, I don't mean that in like you're not an awesome person right now, but you're 20, right? And so I think the importance right now in your life should be less about getting someone else in your life and more about making your life what you want it to be eventually. Like mm -hmm. I always say when you're in your 20s, you should be working very, very hard toward being the person you want to be in your 30s. And the most important part about that is the fact that you need to not try to be someone that's attractive to women, try to be someone that you want to be and that will be attractive to people. A big problem that I think a lot of people fall into around, like guys around the, the high school through early college mm -hmm. levels of their lives is like the, the guys that aren't getting the girlfriends left and right. You right. Know? Like, so we're not right. talking about the cool kids. And, right. You know, Frat all those boys, all and the those quarterback guys. and the baseball players, yeah. and the football players, we're the talking basketball about players, the, the North. water ball players. The water ball players? Or the volleyball players. Oh yeah, the volleyball, volleyball players. players. Yeah, they're getting, they're getting it all. <laughs> it's still, the thing with that though is there's, there's all these people that aren't getting that and they're like, sure. they are the normal ones. You know, like that's yes. I think the most important thing. But they get kind of stuck in this rut where they, they start making excuses and start feeling like what they're doing, A, that they're not doing a good enough job, and B, that everyone else is doing something that is against them. So it's like, how many times have you heard, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm not, I, I don't need a girlfriend, like there's no one good enough for me. You know, or, oh, you know what? It's the, always the, the nice guys. I'm a nice guy. Right. And I'm never going right. to get a girlfriend right. because they only like the bad guys. It's like, don't make excuses. Don't, you know, don't try to put it as if the girls aren't good enough for you. Right. Just, you need to just be you, work on that, and then you'll find somebody. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to go, you know, I want to do this. I think I'm going to go do this. I'm, I'm passionate about this subject. Maybe it's film, maybe it's writing, maybe it's math, maybe it's this, whatever, it doesn't matter. You're gonna go do that, you're gonna invest yourself in it, you're gonna get lost in it, you're gonna immerse yourself in it, you're gonna to start to have success in it, and I guarantee that's when you're gonna meet someone that's in that same field or has common interests, and you're gonna click, and that's what's gonna happen. And it's always, it's, it's the weirdest thing, because the world always works counterintuitive to itself, right? When you want a girlfriend, you can't get a girlfriend. The second you don't want a girlfriend is when you find the girl that you might be with for the rest of your life. That is entirely correct. To take it in a, in a different direction, you know, if you really do want one and it, you know, it's not enough to just work on yourself and you do want to, to find somebody or at least try different things, you need to put yourself out there. You know, a lot of people are always like, where should I go? And it's like, they're like, oh, where besides bars or clubs or this or that? It's like, well, that's where people go to do these things. So it's like, those kind of are the answers, you know? And nowadays we got online dating, Tinder, all those things. You got of online things. dating, you have community events. That's also a huge big thing too. And I've seen people in our community that mm -hmm. have like become really good friends because they come to our events or they're going to Comic-Con mm -hmm. and they're like, I don't have anyone here that's into what I'm into. Um, so go online, jump on the forums, like talk to the people on our forums and be like, dude, what's, what's going on in my area? How can we connect? And if nothing else, you'll make some cool friends. Yeah, exactly. And that should always be the goal. The more things happen, and that's just great. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Love and Sex Stuff. If you have questions for us to answer on this beautiful show, you should go to kindoffunny.com slash love and sex, a very special hub mm. made entirely in Squarespace. Yes. You can find all of the episodes of this show there and the form to fill out your questions when we are answer all of them. Yes, and if you are so inclined, you can go to kindoffunny.com forward slash store and check out all of our amazing t-shirts, including the Love and Sex shirt that you're seeing right here. It's awesome, and if you take a picture of yourself and tweet it at us, we will retweet you, I guarantee it. Mm -hmm. What's really cool is our entire website was made in Squarespace. It was not You made it. I did. So you made the I hub. I did, and I made, I made the hub, I made all of it. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's super easy. I, I, I swear by Squarespace. Mm -hmm. I know, I've, I've said it before, this is not, this is not, I'm not, you know, just saying this out of the out of the kindness of my heart. Squarespace is awesome. Mm -hmm. Love it. Very easy to use. If you want to try it out, there's a link in the description to get you a little discount on that. So you should definitely check that out. Until next week, I'm Tim Geddes. You can follow me on Twitter at Tim Geddes. This is Nick underscore Scarpino on Twitter. And in real life. Tim. <laughs> what if your name was Nick underscore Scarpino? I'm thinking about changing my middle name to mm, underscore. That'd be good. Just so that I was like, no, I nailed my Twitter handle. Yeah. <laughs>